Morning, Chris Dunning here, Managing Director of Tech Quarters. Uh, we're an IT services business and we're based here in sunny Vauxhall. You have to excuse me, it's very early this morning. We came in on the eve of the Olympics to try and get a quiet bit of video done while the traffic is crazy on the roads. So, first of all I can tell you, Sir Pete is actually smiling. Sir Pete is in the equation here with Federated Services. What I'm going to talk to you about today is why you would do it. So, simple thing is it creates a single sign-on on all of your multiple devices within your network. So, massive reduction in your support overhead. So, imagine it's synchronizing passwords across your servers with your Windows logon, Office 365 with your Exchange account and your SharePoint accounts. Uh, it, it synchronizes NAS boxes, so storage devices, any other devices that you might have attached to the network, and also if you have terminal servers within the equation or a hosted desktop service, it actually synchronizes all of those user IDs and passwords. So, moving swiftly on. How would I federate? Okay, you do need a minimum of two servers in the equation. So they could be on-premise, these servers here, or they could actually be at a hosted data center, as long as you've got a VPN tunnel out to them. So what you want to do is really synchronize these Active Directory accounts with Office 365. So both of these will, will have Active Directory installed on them. There is an initial one-way synchronization of all of your AD accounts. So my advice is to clear 365 out to start with, set up your AD, make sure it's right, and then synchronize it one way. Once that's done, you've got all of your accounts here. Don't do it the other way around. As we found when we were doing our testing, it creates multiple accounts in 365, and then you have a big headache trying to PowerShell and delete them with different security identifiers. That will take time and will cause you a lot of headaches. Do the one-way sync, make sure it's fresh here first. The second thing is, after you've done that, you have an application that's stored on one of these that will do a three-hour one-way sync of AD constantly. After the AD is synchronized, the next thing is to set up your federation services. So federation is set to sync, sync up permanently. So once this is set up across these servers, and you set it up on these servers to sync with 365, you do need an SSL certificate. Once it's set up, it synchronizes perfectly. So when your users log on, they'll literally be asked for a password and it will sync them to all of these devices through their Windows logon. The benefits to you is massive benefits. Central user management, centralized support. So when you're trying to delete an account, you're trying to modify it, you do it from one particular place and it deletes all the accounts or modifies them synchronously. The second thing is obviously it lowers your support headaches. So you haven't got one person calling up for four different password resets all the time. So you're going to get your support overhead reduced. And then finally, really great, if you set up an Active Directory user, you can push that through to Office 365. So you only set yourself in one actual location. Thanks a lot for listening. My name's Chris Dunning. Uh, I'd love to hear from you about Federated Services or Office 365. Our number is 0800 148 8001. Look forward to speaking to you soon. Cheers.